What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Ano yun? Ba't ako gumanon? <laughs> anyway, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to make this video. Kasi diba last week, kakabalik ko lang from Singapore. This will be a very short video kasi meron ako mga pinamili from Singapore that I want to show you guys. So without further ado, welcome to my Singapore Shopping Unboxing! Item number one, let's start with a small ticket item first. These shoes are from Pedro. So, I think you guys know naman the brand Pedro. Charles and Keith and Pedro kasi they came from Singapore talaga. So, super mura dun. Actually, meron din Charles and Keith and Pedro here in Manila, Samoa, and like everywhere. I think hindi lang Samoa. Pero, I got the shoes from Pedro. These are formal shoes, but pwede rin siyang pang casual, especially pagka naka shorts ako. Brown shorts, blue shorts, black shorts, pwede siyang pang pattern. And since these shoes are from Pedro, super comfortable niya. Hawakan mo lang yung sa loob. Sobrang lambot din niya. So if you are a guy and watching this, Pedro has some really comfortable shoes. So you can shop there if you want affordable and comfortable. Just like these. Isa rin sa mga small ticket items natin is play. Home de Garçon. Yes, French tayo. Anyway, sobrang sikat to. Since dati pa, ito yung brand na puro my heart. And of course, hindi lang shirt ng ating binili. Pati sapatos. Ito yung collab nila with Converse. So, Home de Garçon X Converse. Siyempre, as a Lasayan boy, as a Kanye dude, as a... Millennial Generation Z part ang white shoes sa aming uniform. So ayan. Actually guys, super nice din nito kasi sobrang comfortable niya. Basically the technology of Converse and pag Converse naman talaga, sobrang reliable especially pag long walks or even runs or even going to the gym yung mga tao na Converse kasi sobrang lambot din talaga niya. And dude, not so bad kasi in terms of fashion, I can wear this with literally Anything, just underwear, and this one okay na, huh? Ang kalat, ang kinky. <laughs> this is one of my first buys in Singapore, and sobrang worth it siya. Worth it talaga ng pera mo. I am totally in love with these shoes. I think ito na yung bagong go-to shoes ko forever. So next, ito na. Let's move on to the more big ticket items, yung mga luxury brands, designer brands. Kasi as you guys know, sobrang hilig ko sa mga designer. Brands. If you can see sa mga TikTok videos ko or sa mga IG posts ko, palagi akong may hawak na ganon. Yung bag dito. I call it kilikili bag for men. <laughs> kilikili bag for men. Yung lagi siya nasa kilikili mo, basically. First item is Foray La Page. Okay, Foray La Page is a brand from Paris. Kalaban nito is yung Goyard kasi meron silang same design principle kasi yung Goyard di ba parang triangle triangle na magkakadikit ito naman semi circle na magkakadikit and that is FLP for you for Ray Lapage sobrang good din ng kanilang packaging sobrang ganda ng yellow signature yellow um, color nila on their paper bag and of course when you take it out of the paper bag syempre pinaka importante sa mga designer things especially bag and shoes is dapat merong dust bag kasi mahirap na pagka na dumihan or nagkaalikabok to mahirap linisin okay finally it is a black clutch bag yan yung loob niya kulay black din naman syempre bago pa merong paper tapon natin yan pero guys sobrang hilig ko sa mga ganto kasi nga Bilang pandemic, sobrang dami na natin kailangan dalhin. As I explained in my previous designer bags video, kailangan natin ng alcohol, extra mask, um, yung wallet ko, yung susi ng um, kotse ko. And basically, lahat ng sanitary essentials nandito. Tissue, wet one. And of course, better be ready and go out in style. Kaya sobrang hilig ko sa mga gantong designer clutch bags for men. Ito rin guys yung sinasabi ko kanina na yung Goyard is triangle triangle siya, semicircle semicircle. Next is one of my favorite brands ever. Funny story kasi ito yung <laughs> ito yung binili ko sa airport 
one last gastos bago kami umuwi ng Philippines. Kasi sobrang mura ng MCM sa Singapore, to be honest. Mas mura pa siya kaysa dito sa Philippines or sa US. Kaya humirit pa tayo sa airport ng one last gastos. Of course, signature MCM black paper bag. Ayan na ngayon with their golden MCM logo. Siyempre, as I said kanina, paghugot mo, dapat laging may dust bag. Especially pagka designer bag. So, ito na yung dust bag niya. At siyempre, ang binili ko ay folder na naman. Isang clutch na naman na kulay brown. And solid to kasi you can match it with your wallet of the day. Meron siyang kasamang maliit na wallet sa loob nito. Sobrang solid lang nito kasi finally meron na akong brown na clutch bag. Sobrang solid especially if we go to BGC, mukha tayong business person. Ganon. Aura-aura lang sa BGC. And once again, sobrang okay din ito kasi marami ka rin malalagay sa loob. And of course, sobrang cute din kasi nitong maliit na wallet and card holder. Just to match with my MCM clutch bag. MCM is actually one of my favorite brands kasi sobrang ganda lang ng patterns nila. Although medyo loud kaya hindi ko siya ginagamit often pero meron akong MCM na backpack if you guys would remember the black one na may studs. Yung mga bago na lang design, hindi na lahat may studs kaya okay na hindi siya super loud. And dahil meron na akong black na FNP, meron na rin akong brown na MCM, meron na akong red na Givenchy and Guyard and meron akong blue na Michael Kors. Pwede na akong gumamit ng clutch bag with any attire fashion-wise. Kahit na anong suot ko, meron na akong pwedeng gamitin na clutch bag kasi lahat ng kulay meron na rin ako. I'm so happy with this purchase. Super worth it and I'm, I'm gonna use this almost every day for sure. This is the last purchase for myself. Yung pinaka big ticket at pinaka mahal na item na binili ko sa Singapore. Eto naman talagang matagal ko na siyang hinahanap since na mahilig din ako sa slides. Um, leather sandal siya na backless. Backless? Meron bang backless sa mga sandals? Ewan ko anong tawag. Basta ang tawag dito is mule. Super in love with this kasi finally bago na yung packaging ng Gucci. This super nice glossy moss green with patterns na sobrang nakakasosyal yung patterns niya. Woo! Sexy! Also, yung box niya is also the same color. Sobrang ganda, legit. Super unique and sobrang nakakasosyal talaga siya. Like premium vibes ang Gucci ngayon. Of course, once again, ang pinaka-importante is dust bag. Siyempre, ang dust bag, when you are buying shoes, is dapat one of each merong dust bag. Boom! This is called the Gucci Mule. So basically, leather shoes siya, pero backless. So, slippers. Slippers, pero leather shoes. Ayan po siya, ayan po. Pwede mo ito gamitin everyday on your normal runs to the mall. Especially pagka sobrang bilis lang na kailangan mong puntahan. Hindi ka na kailangan mag socks, hindi ka na kailangan mag shoes. Just slide it onto your feet. Basically, this is more on the expensive side kasi leather talaga siya. As in real leather, real Gucci leather talaga siya. And sa likod is kahoy talaga siya. Yan, kahoy with rubber. Kaya... Siguro medyo on the expensive side din kasi hindi lang siya yung goma, hindi lang siya yung normal slides yung goma. As in, it is actually heavy, it's leather and kahoy. For me, worth it kasi one thing that I like is hindi siya sobrang loud na it screams like Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Hindi siya ganun. As in like, wala man lang letter G sa kahit na ano. So pagkasuot ko siya, low-key lang talaga. Ayun, very nice purchase. I love this. I am very happy. I am gonna wear this every day. Next purchases natin is for Pia. Ang mga pasalubong natin kay Pia. So knowing Pia, sobrang mahilig siya sa mga skimpy na damit. Yung mga kita yung chan, kita yung puso, kita yung halos lahat ng legs niya, kita. At yun din naman yung gusto ko for her. <laughs> <laughs> Sobrang harot. And si Pia, mahilig din siya sa mga turno-turno, coords coords so, so, this is from The Closet Lover in Singapore. First is this blue floral, uh, no, purple floral na coords Let's open it. Ganto yung shorts as usual. Sobrang nipis kasi ni Pia, kaya 
sobrang liit feeling ko kasi ano lang ng ng leg ko yung waist niya sobrang payatid kasi ni Pia tapos pag kasi nakot siya hanggang dito lang ata kasi hanggang dito lang so yeah gusto to ni Pia <laughs> parang braso ko lang ata to so basically ganyan siya pwedeng off shoulders pwedeng on shoulders off on off on tapos parang bra lang din siya so kita lahat ng chan niya Next is this red cords then medyo same yung principle niya uh, same design uh, iba lang yung tela uh, tapos yung top niya is ganito so merong pa V although same principle na kita rin ng pusod uh, at kita ang konti sa cleavage line niya pero it's nice also kasi meron siyang puffy sleeves and everything. Siyempre yung shorts is medyo parang medyo slacks type na merong botones and zipper. Ayan, feeling ko sobrang bagay ito kay Pia. I'm so excited for her to wear it. So guys, that is all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this mini unboxing of my Singapore shopping haul. Sobrang dam... Hindi naman sobrang dami. Sobrang konti lang na nabili ko pero kasi halos lahat medyo pricey talaga. So hindi rin ako makabili ng sobrang dami kasi ito yung mga items na hinahanap ko since dati pa. Hindi to impulse buy na when I saw it, I bought it na agad. Hindi na ako ganun ngayon. Before, ganun ako. Pero ngayon talaga, meron akong mga certain items lang that I really wanna buy and I may ipon for it and I buy it. Pero... <laughs> If my mom is watching this, she will make me mura kasi siya yung nagbili nito lahat for me. Although, nabayaran ko na siya for half of it kasi half kami. Half sa kanya, half sa akin. Ganun talaga pag mag-inang mahilig sa designer brand. Anyway, um, that is it. Thank you for watching. Sana nag-enjoy kayo at sana nabudol din kayo. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this vlog sa mga friends yung mahilig mag-shopping. At if you want to recommend one of my items sa friend nyo, send nyo na rin tong vlog na to. And please, please, please don't forget to subscribe and don't skip the ads kasi we are finally monetized. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye!